Now, with 2023 approaching, more young Nigerians are showing growing interest in politics uh, and its likely direction. They're also beginning to hold strong opinions on policies with an apparently keener appetite for direct action. Gone are the days, seemingly, when young people felt disengaged from Nigeria's democratic life. And 2023 is being volubly talked about as the year when young people in particular and Nigerian voters in general will hit back at this country's political elite from whom they've had little benefits. So, according to the pundits, expect a political earthquake in 2023. Well, one group that's working creatively to encourage the interest and participation of young people in Nigerian politics is the organization known as Nigeria Youth Decide. Their co-founder, Uche Odims, is also a UN Youth Ambassador, and he joins me now in the studio. Thank you for coming in. Thank you, sir. Give us an idea of the role your organization, Youth Nigeria Youth Decide, has played so far in mobilizing or sensitizing Nigeria's young people ahead of the 2023 election. Okay, um, the Nigerian Youth Decide is the name of the program, mm. and uh, the organization uh, Global Initiative for Advancement of Africa and also uh, Democracy Youth Roundtable came together to uh, look at it critically you know over the years we've been having a lot of uh, stories about young people it's your time it's your in fact you are the leaders of the future and all well, but they are and it's yeah exactly and it's more or less like rhetorics and all mm. so we are like okay um the only way this can actually happen is um okay there's an example i normally paint i had an interview and i painted a picture somebody owns two acres of land and the person that owns two acres of land employs people to come work in the farm to uh, uh, what do you call it uh, to cultivate, the grass cultivate. And all cultivate the place and at the end of the day two days after the person that uh, uh, is being employed the person that is being employed now start giving instructions to the boss the owner of the farm mm. Meanwhile, the boss is the owner of the farm and all the minerals and everything in it. That is the ironic situation of Nigeria and her youth. Now, these resources in Nigeria belongs to the Nigerian youth, belongs to us. But what is happening over the years is that we have a situation whereby we have people that are employed to do the job telling us what to do and they're not being held accountable. So we also blame ourselves because i don't see any reason why we'll be running um we'll be running uh nigeria like as if we have a church service or mosque service whereby everybody finish from church carry their bag and go home no we need to hold them accountable because anything you don't expect fails so we said no way we don't want a situation whereby the political elites come tell us i'm going to give give you this we are going to do this great employment one billion employment do this and all the rest of it and at the end of the day before you know what's happening, mm. four years is over, you won't see nothing. We are like, but we said, no, this time around, we're going to be part of the government. If you tell us you use 100 billion, you must give account of it. You must tell us what you deal with our collective resources. And I was talking to an, uh, we were talking to an elder statesman just a couple of weeks ago, and we told him something. Nigerian youths are tired of the slave master, slave relationship. Mm. We are still in colonial era in Nigeria. Whereby the political elites that you employ, they use our money to fly, they use our money to go everywhere and the rest of it. Nobody can hold them accountable. You can't even reach them. Outside the country, you have access. You can lay your complaint. Not in Nigeria. Somebody becomes a local government chairman. He becomes in, invisible. In those days, that's what they call Willy Willy. He disappears. Disappears to thin air. You can't see the person again whatsoever. And at the end of the day, four years after, they come back and give you 10K, 5,000 euros, you sell your, we say Nigeria, you don't do mm. that again. Nigeria belongs to us. Right. But yes, of sir. course, holding them accountable is when they've actually got into office. Yeah. Um, at the moment, you're, you're looking at 2023. Yes, um, what are the issues that people who are, for instance, below the age of 34 in Nigeria feel strongly about going into that ballot? What are they? Because, I mean, the, the point I'm making is that if you're going to hold them accountable, you'll hold them accountable after they've got into office. But what are the things that you require from them before they get into office, which is where we are now? Okay, that's